Hey everyone, welcome to Duo Decimal Division. My name is Eric Larson and this is part two in a series of short videos about why numerals have the shapes that they do. Part one, I introduced you to the idea that somebody actually designed our numerals and that they used a geometric pattern of circles and lines to do so. And so now I'm gonna show you why the numeral five looks the way that it does. I'm just gonna bounce around a little bit and kind of work uh, my way up in complexity. So the numeral for the number two was the first one and it really showed all the uh, components of why that numeral looks the way it does using the second circle in the series. Now we're gonna go to the fifth circle and, sh and look at the relationship between that circle and the grid underneath and uh, see if we can figure out why someone would choose to design the numeral five to look the way that it does based on that relationship of the circle and the grid beneath. All right, so here we go. Uh, okay, again, here's that series of circles. And so we're just going to look at the fifth circle in the series. It's a circle with the radius of the square root of five. So what I'm going to do first is just uh, mark all the spots where that circle intersects the grid underneath. For this particular circle, there are eight points or eight lattice points where that circle uh, intersects the grid. So we're going to go count out one, two, three, four, five. There's the fifth circle in the series and here are those points right there and there okay so when you look at those points you can see right away we're talking about a bigger circle than the than the second one obviously and so there's more room in there in a sense and and the relationship between those points you can see there's a lot of possibility for straight at straight lines and even rectangles and angles and whatnot and so that is uh that idea is incorporated in the design because basically we know what the numeral five looks like it has a right angle at the top of a uh, part of a circle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come off of this point right here i'm just going to go up the length of two kind of like there's all these two lengths here isn't there in the circle so we're going to go up here length of two and then along the top the length of three. So right away, now we can see two plus three is five. So we have two lines added together that give us the value of the number that this symbol represents, five. And now what I'm gonna do is simply trace uh, a, a big part of that same circle. Okay, so there you have it. That's why the numeral five looks the way it does. Somebody you know, looked at that circle and saw how it fit on the grid underneath. And then they wanted to incorporate the, the value of five, you know, somehow in the design. They did that with that angle up there, which kind of comments or, or relates to the fact that there's all these sort of straight lines when you connect the dots, that, 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 that how that circle fits on the grid, on the coordinate plane. It's interesting to note, I could draw a straight line right from this point through the center and that point all the way to there, this point here, and that, that that line would be in sections of five, square root of five, you know, square root of five, you know, sections. Okay, so I'll just put my whiteboard behind. So there you go, that's why the numeral five looks the way that it does. You can see what it's, how it has all the right proportions there. And that the, the distance between these two points is four. So you have two, three, and four, and then five, and so on. So that's why the numeral five looks the way it does. Now I'm gonna jump ahead a couple more, and I'm gonna do the, why the numeral eight has the shape that it does. Using the same logic, we're gonna look at the coordinate points where that, uh, the eighth circle in the series fits on the grid, and why, you know, why the numeral eight looks the way it does. All right, thanks for watching. 